Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Dr. Alvarez with Indobariatric.com and I am here with a very uh, special guest and uh, I had to get him here to share his experience with the gastric sleeve because let me tell you, it is uh, an amazing one. It's an am I'm, I'm in awe. So um, uh, let me introduce you to Fred for a patient of mine. Fred, how's it going? Good. Good. So, uh, Fred, you want to tell us uh, where you're from? I'm from Leesville, Louisiana. Leesville, Louisiana, uh, close to the Texas uh, border? Uh, yes. Yes. And you drove down? Yes. Twice now? Twice, yes. Twice now because uh, you're here again uh, at our facility because uh, now your brother had surgery. Right. All right. So how long ago did you have surgery? Uh, about 14 and a half months. All right. So, and how's the journey so far? It's been good. All right, so I need you to get those numbers out for us because you will blow everybody's mind away just with those numbers. Uh, since surgery in July of last year, I've lost 141 pounds. Uh, in total, I've lost 227 pounds. 227 pounds yes, down. Sir. All right, how about that? I bet. Everybody tell us, I mean, even your doctor, I mean, you tell me, it's like, damn. Oh. So uh, I'm really happy for you. I'm really happy for you. And the reason I, I, I wanted you to be here is because a lot of people need to understand that the tool they have is the same tool you have, but it's how you use a tool. Right. And it is a very, very powerful tool. And the more you work with it, I mean, the sky's the limit. So uh, how, how have these 14 months been? Been pretty good. Uh, haven't had any real issues. Mm -hmm. uh, my main issue is the skin, but that can be dealt with later. Correct. That's a lot of weight down. Correct. But, I mean, yesterday I saw you at the meet and greet. I mean, somebody just meets you at this point. Nobody would even think you had a weight issue. Yeah, a lot of people tell me that. Because you look so healthy, you look good, you look well built. It's just good, all around good. So nobody uh, would think you're, you're a bariatric patient. So uh, how's your lifestyle now? I mean, you lost literally a person. I mean, I can do a lot of things that I've never been able to do. A lot of things that I probably could do, I was just too afraid to try. Uh -huh. uh, so I'm making moves and doing a lot of things that I never thought I would be able to do. How'd you, how'd you find us initially here at Endoviriatric? Um, I know several people in my town that's uh, been here, um, but my sister's fiance uh, and his mother were both patients of yours. and uh, So that's what really made me made the, make the decision. I've, I've got quite a few patients in Leesville, Louisiana there. But, um, so you took the, the, the leap, you, you, you took the jump. Uh, what were your thoughts on Mexico? I'm going to Mexico. You know, I really didn't have any worries mm -hmm. about Mexico. Um, my main thing was COVID was new. Mm -hmm. um, and everybody was we so rescheduled about you. It. I did have to reschedule, uh, but I mean, other than that, and and when I got here, you know, y'all followed all the protocols, uh, basically the same that's in the states, and so that eased my mind on that. Yeah. So in the history of endobariatric, those are the only patients you included of that week that we. Uh, we have rescheduled in over 16 years. And it was just because of COVID. I mean, it's uh, out of our reach. But uh, we got you going again. You did the pre-op diet again, lost some more, and then some, and then you had surgery, and boom. Good. And now your brother's like, what'd you do, huh? I want that, huh? He was scared. He was scared? For a, for a while, he told me he would never do it. Uh-huh. But I guess... He finally made up his mind that he wanted it, and so here we are. Yeah, and that's a very important thing also that 
it is a very personal decision. I mean, they can see you, you can talk to them, you can try to convince them, which is never a good idea. But um, it's until until they're they're personally convinced. It's like this is what I want to do. Right, and I never tried to talk him into it. Uh huh. You know, I just encouraged him, um, and just showed him, you know, through my progress. Oh, he'd, he'd see you. So. I mean, there's how can you hide two hundred and twenty seven pounds, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, um, what would be your uh, Maybe some words of advice for somebody that's looking into this or the Mexico thing or uh, even us, you know, into bariatric now that you've been here twice, you know? Um, as far as Mexico, I mean, there's nothing to it. I mean, it's safe. This is not, I wouldn't think this is a dangerous town. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as everything else, just do what you're told to do. Uh, but you gotta really want it. Yes. I think that a lot of people come into this thinking that it's just gonna be easy, which is not terribly hard, but you still have to work. Yeah. You know, it's not a miracle type situation. Like you say, it's just a tool. And you have to use the tool wisely. And you have to do what you need to do and not throw it away. I mean, there's work still to be done. Correct. And again, brings us to the first part of our talk is you got to work with it. And the more you work with this powerful tool, the more you're, you'll get out of it. Right. How much? It's up to you. You know, the tool's there. And um, I'm just super thrilled for you. I mean, I am, I mean, I always get excited with my patients, you know, it, I always see ex uh, w their transformation, but, but with you yesterday, I was you know, blown away, and I, I, I'm guess, I guess I'm not the only one, of course, and uh, I just want to uh, congratulate you on what you've done because, uh, as you mentioned, it's not easy. You got to work with it. You got to, I mean, it's like going to the gym, you know, you see all these ripped guys and everything. Hey, they've earned it. You've earned it, you know. Um, so uh, I, I'm, I'm really happy for you. I want to congratulate you. And I also want to thank you for, for sharing your, your story here with us, um, showing your, uh, your wisdom throughout these 14 months of uh, life with a sleeve. You know? uh, just want to talk a little bit about when patients come to me and say, do you think that I, that I can lose 50 pounds with a sleeve? You think I can lose 40? You think I, I need 80? Do you think I can lose 100? Do you think I can lose 150? Nah, 150, you know what? That, the, the other doctor, or I saw online, I need a bypass. The sky's the limit with a sleeve. It's how you work with that tool that can get you over 200 pounds if you want to. I've had another patient uh, that I know of, and uh, he lost 400 pounds. So he was 600, and he's currently like my weight, close to 200 pounds. He lost 400 pounds. And people like you guys are, I mean, not that common because you guys understand the tool, you put in the effort, and you get you achieve the result. So again, congratulations, and thank you for sharing the, the, the story here because it is, I, I'm sorry, I had to get you here because it's so inspiring. It's so inspiring, so I really appreciate you being here and appreciate your support. And I want to thank you. Uh, not only did you help me change my life, but I really believe that you helped me save my life. Okay. So. Well, thank you. My pleasure. My job, my passion. So. And I also want to send a shout out to Brandy. She's been great. Uh, any questions that I ever have, she answers right away usually. My coordinator. So, yes. Yes. So our coordinators are right there for our patients. I tell patients, when you come to us, it's just not, I mean, do and forget. I mean, right. we're always there for you. You need anything once you leave from here, after five minutes or five years from now, we will be here for you. So just shout out, shoot us an email. We are here for you. So, um, yes, Brandy, very, very helpful. I'm, she is. My pleasure. Thank you for being my patient. 
And uh, again, thank you for support. Thank you. All right.